Hey guys, welcome back to Rocking the Spectrum. So today I have a speech appointment for Christian. This one is a pretty important one because I believe we are going to be discussing uh, his yearly, uh, pretty much yearly evaluation. So making sure that things are in order, what has happened, his goals that were met, not met, and what we want for the future. I think this one is pretty important because I do have a lot in my mind regarding speech and communication. Um, I want to focus on uh, making sure that we're moving forward towards the right direction. I want to go over what his uh, achievements have been this year, what I feel like we've improved on, what needs improvement, and just kind of like where we are as of right now, if there's been any regression. So I thought I would pick up the camera today since I have that appointment, give you guys information regarding what they tell me, and then go from there and show you guys um, pretty much a communication update. So I'm gonna pick him up from ABA right now and then take you guys with us to his appointment. Hi, Christian. Hi, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. 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 You're in a silly mood. <laughs> you know what's funny? Christian is wearing little slip on protectors because I have like a light seat cover thingy. And I even bought covers to try to cover it, which helps with this, but not this side. So this is my solution to not take off his shoes all the time. You ready? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. You're too silly. I don't think you're ready. Let's go. Let's go. This way. Christian. Let's go potty. This way. Christian. This way. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, ah, this way. That's better. Let's nice listening, Papa. Let's go potty. Hey guys, so it's been a few days since I last picked up the camera to record. I wanted to talk to you guys about the um, speech evaluation. Um, it went really well. Um, it had a lot of the similar things that always come up um, in regards to his goals. We talked about what he has been, um, how he has been doing with the goals of last year. Some of them are um, doing really well and other ones are kind of up and down, kind of how Christian's normal kind of um, graphs look. So he'll have some days where he gets 80% um, for a target and other days he'll get 20%. The next week he'll get 80, the other week 70, and then the next week 20. So it's very up and down for him, but that's consistent for him. She agrees that his joint attention has gotten a lot better um, as well as his receptive language. We um, talked about what goals we want to put on hold that don't seem really relevant and what we want to move forward with. What I really wanted to talk to her about was lo looking into if we should do more OT versus speech, which kind of sucks. I wish I could do both. The way that my insurance works is I can only do 100 sessions of OT, speech, or physical therapy a year. So I have to kind of manage which one I feel is more important. I've always just done speech, but this year he started OT, I would say end of September, early October. No, early October. So now my question is if we should focus on that. With OT, they focus a lot on sensory integration and um, helping him find his place in space to try to help him get his mind and body connected because he has a lot of trouble with um, what intention he wants. So he, he might be going towards the right, but his hand goes towards the left. He has trouble with midline cross, so I know that OT focuses a lot on that. So I really wanted to see if I should focus on OT, and she agreed with me that she wishes she, we could do two OT and two speech, but at least for the beginning of the year, to focus on two OTs a week and one speech, just to see if it really will benefit them and help them. Because as she said, um, we can we can't keep teaching Christian a certain way if he's not learning that way. We have to try to find different ways to teach him, um, to help him grow in his own way, in his own pace. And, you know, trying different things is always a good thing. It just kind of threw me off um, for me to want to say it, we're going to cut on speech because I fought so hard during school for that. But it is different because school, they were trying to take it away and not give him anything. They were taking it away because of lack of speech. I mean, because of lack of focus, um, he or she even agreed, she brought it up. They wanted to cut his hours for this, but we changed things up. We did more floor time and he progressed a lot. So we for sure are keeping floor time and getting joint attention, getting him to engage in um, play with um, the 
therapist so if she has bubbles and he wants bubbles when he looks at her then she blows and then we want to get that reaction of like oh did you see that that bubble it popped so we're getting a lot more of that joint referencing and joint attention so that's really good so that is one of the main things um in regards to any changes we're making this year for speech is we are cutting down next year to one a week hopefully we'll be able to add more later in the year and also i really hope that ot will be very beneficial for him like i i feel like it will be another thing that we're changing in our home not necessarily in therapy is we are actually going back to the basics we are going to bring back the pec not the pec board but the pecs themselves the velcro pecs um the way that that came about is i had a long discussion with christian's pcba she collected data to see if he does better with um, taking off the picture and giving it to somebody versus trying to point it out on the iPad. And the data does show that he is doing a lot better with that. He goes to what he usually wants a lot more consistently than on the iPad. On the iPad, he is not engaging with it. He's just kind of choosing and going along with it. With um, the pecs themselves, the, the visual hand over pec, he is doing um, significantly better. So the data is showing that he's doing a lot better with um, the pe pictures versus the iPad. So for the time being, we're gonna focus on using that and try to get that to be as good as it can be and then incorporate the iPad maybe later. But all I want for him is functional communication. I've said that in the past, the only thing that sucks for me is not necessarily that he doesn't talk, is that he doesn't have a way to functionally communicate his needs when he really wants something. As his mom, I know what he wants a lot of times, but I want other people to be able to understand what he wants. So we will focus on that for now. I will be making that, I bought ink already. I have the laminator, I have other things. So I'm gonna be making one for home. I know they're already, they've been using it in therapy for about a month already and it's been going really well so i have to get my butt in gear and get that done hopefully i will do that today and um, i will of course show you guys how he's doing with that and um, put that on, on video for you guys so that is pretty much it for the update we are going to be cutting speech to once a week doing ot twice a week and we're going to go back to basics i don't it's not a regression i want to say i'm looking for the best way to communicate with him regardless if it's technology or more um you know simpler methods um i want to just give him as many opportunities and as much no and i want to make it as easy as possible for him so thank you guys so much for watching this video i will keep you guys posted i will continue to make more videos regarding communication let me know if you guys have any questions hi Haiti. hi and we will see you in the next video bye bye <laughs> is Christian being silly? Who's that on the camera? Who's that on the camera? Oh, now you're serious. Now you don't want to smile. <laughs>